had several ideas for videos in the past few days. I haven't been on the internet in uh, more than a week. I didn't know last time I posted anything on Facebook or Twitter. It really was the 12th, which was, what, nine days ago? Eight days ago. I had a few ideas for short rants and just little, you know, little clips, you know, things I wanted to say and blah, blah, blah. So I stopped using social media websites. Only one could argue that YouTube is a social media website, but it doesn't have to be. You, know, you don't have to interact with people. You don't have to reply to comments. You can disable your comments. But I just had enough of Facebook. I used to like MySpace, but they took away our blogs. A lot of personal stuff on there. It's gone. They didn't get rid of the message boards. So now MySpace is really no different than Facebook. And I'm sick and tired of Facebook. You can't joke around with certain people because they take everything literally or personally. But. Anyway, disrespectful teenagers is one of the reasons I stopped using Facebook. I don't think kids should be using social media websites because then you hear about cyberbullying and suicides because of that crap. So, back in my day, we got beat up face to face. You know, physically or verbally. And, you know, we didn't have to worry about your kids sending pictures of her boobies to some 30 something year old guy on the other side of the country and him showing up on your doorstep. And then, uh, kid getting hold of it and then suddenly your daughter goes and drinks a cup of bleach. No, back in my day everything went on face to face. Anyway, it's, I was incoherent rambling now because I got a cat here that won't stop meowing for some reason. Which one of you is it? Anyway, Speaking of disrespectful teenagers, yeah. I'm not going to tell you where I work, what city I work in, what the name of the building is, my name, any of that crap, so they can't fire me for mentioning this. But, uh, if you want to be, I mean, if you don't like being disrespected by teenagers, well, first I'll tell you, don't have kids. Don't uh, tell your siblings not to have kids. Do. I mean, give you crap. Don't associate with them. But anyway, you don't want to be respected by, disrespected by teenagers. Don't be a high school janitor. I have to clean this. Uh, one of the rooms I have to clean. You know, it's where they go and work out and lift weights and crap. Uh, last year, this was handled, by the way, by. Uh, Several of the full timers on the maintenance crew went downstairs and tore this kid in the ass. I was in there cleaning mirrors. Three kids come in, one fat kid with a beard. Said, get out, get out of here, ain't around. I'm just standing there. I can't believe that they're talking to me this way. I walk past him and I spray the spray bottle on his feet and just walk out. I was literally two mirrors away from finishing the dang room. But anyway, uh, the second in command on the custodial crew went down and tore the kid in the ass. He came back and told me that the kid almost left the puddle on the floor. He said, so. Anyway, last night, this was like more than a year later, I'm cleaning the weight room. I'm, I go in and start vacuuming. Two kids come in. They have a key. Where do they get a freaking key? They come in and set some stuff down. One of them has like a and sets his phone down on an iPod. They go over to turn on the sound system and start lifting weights. Well, they just walk past me like I'm the furniture and say nothing to me. And last year in the hall, I had people laugh at me. I wear a fedora all the time because I don't have as much hair as I did when I was younger. And every once in a while, I have these camouflage pants. I had I had these two kids that would sit there and say stuff about me. Some character in some movie would say, I have to wear my leather or some crap. And 
happy to find me wearing a camouflage and wearing a hat. Well, anyway, back to this weight room situation. Three and a half hour day job. Five rooms, two flights of stairs to clean. You can't get it all done in that amount of time. It has to be full time. It has to be, but it's not. But them kids come in, and they don't care that I'm there. They just walk on by and, you know. I'm tired of being disrespected by teenagers. I'm sick of it. Parents, today, don't teach your kids any manners. Because they don't care themselves. But surprisingly, there are people my age that have teenage kids. But, you know, for the most part, some of them are in their 40s have those kids. You know, these are people that grew up in the 70s and 80s. And, uh, they had MTV and all that crap. And they just don't care. Now today everybody's on their smartphone and their fancy gadgets. Not living their lives and not raising their kids. And uh, the kids are on their fancy gadgets. You don't even have to go to school anymore. Seriously, you can leave your kid home. They can learn everything on Google. They know they want them to play on Facebook instead. And we got this new thing out called Vine. Where people post like little 30 second videos about crap. Kids today have no manners. Not every kid. But. They just don't have any manners. And they don't mouth off to you. And they do it, some of them do it behind a computer screen because they don't do it to your face. I don't know. I have to go. I have stuff to do.